Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays where it's time for another Minecraft catch up episode. And as usual we've been playing Minecraft Dungeons, Dragons and Space Shuttles and we've made I've made some progress and I think everyone else has as well. So I've been concentrating a little bit on some of the quest lines recently. So if we have a look in here at the white magic one specifically. Um, I've been sort of pushing through this as much as possible. So down here where I've finished off some of the... Um, the, uh, the manor infused metals down here, here, down here, and that involved a sort of a trip off into the twilight forest over here. So we jump through this portal, poosh, and we appear through here with a random terrifying noise. And somewhere around here, yes, I dug a, I dug a hole in the ground like this, as you do when you're going mining. Came down here, and you have to dig through quite a lot of root blocks down here as well. So what is suddenly mining requires a, um, a wood axe as well as a pickaxe and a shovel. But I then sort of bimbled merrily along here. Um, doing the sort of standard punching my way through with my with my uh, new shiny hammer that I made last time, and I found this mine ore here that I didn't pick up. Let's, let's grab that on the way past. See how much lag we get from the server as we do so. Um, I appear not to have my wand and picking things up turned on. There we go. And I don't have any random cheap stuff to fill that hole in with, so I won't. So yes, I carried. I, I came along here as 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 you do. I made this sort of long tunnel and loop back and so on. And, and the reason I came all the way down here was I needed to get some manor infused ore in order to make some manor infused metal because that was the next thing needed for the uh, white magic quest line, which, which I was which I was, I was trying to work through. So I eventually gathered up enough of that. I, found, I actually found another way out here. So there's a sort of a, a cave coming out this way that was uh, a, a nice a nice neat escape for me. So having done all of that, I, might, I was able to then take that back to the to the real world. And smelt it into manor infused metal, and that allowed me to complete. And then powdered that into um, powdered manor infused metal, which allowed me to complete the quest. So that wasn't particularly difficult, but it did mean I needed to come over here to the uh, the twilight dimension and do, and do some mining over here. Now I do have a bit of a confession to make. While I was over here, I managed to lose my shulker box. Um, this was through sort of. I, w I don't really want to say stupidity because I don't like implying I'm not stupid. Uh, so I'm going to say through not understanding the mechanics of the game properly. I I put it down and then tried to pick it up with my um, with my bare hands because I'd basically want because I'd used up my entire pickaxe rather than using this iot which I've been carrying around with me as well um, because well because fail and that that ended up destroying it rather than putting it in my into my inventory. So I so I've lost that which is a rather a shame because they're basically irreplaceable at least until we go off to far far off distant places and find new ways of gathering things. So that was a shame. But still, at least I've um, at least I, managed, I I didn't lose any significant resources with that of the things I've been I've been mining up. I only only lost a an, an enormous quantity of cobblestone because that was all I chucked in it. So that was a bit of a shame. So that got me the um along all the way along here to the the mana powder. I made some of that by with with a bit of happy crushing. I also made a minecart with mana pool on it. And this is this is pretty straightforward. The mana pool is just a load of living rock and some silicon, yada yada yada. All these things I've done before, and the Minecraft is just various different forms of iron. So that was yeah, that was that was pretty easy to put together. Um, although I did it in here, so I had to make some wheels. So yeah, I made one of those. Um, that has in theory in theory allowed me to then go on and make the um, the mana pump, um, but I've not bothered with that yet. It. Didn't look that difficult, um, but apart from perhaps the tank valves, uh, then again, not not too not not too bad. A lot of string required and things like that. But I was more interested at that point in going off and having a look at the um, the stuff up here, the astral sorcery things. So the first, the starting point of that was the aquamarine. This was fairly complicated because there were a lot of different things I needed to put together to make that. Um, how, how did I even? Oh, so here we go. So I needed to get hold of some electro electrotine, some lapis, uh, some, uh, some luminescence, and some molten lumium. Now, none of these were particularly difficult. There was just a lot of them, and the, so they're, between them, they were all fairly complicated. So this one I ended up making through... Um, did I do it in the induction smelter? Yes, in the induction smelter. I put in some pulverized copper and some redstone. That produces electrotine that I needed, so that was fairly straightforward. Luminescence was glowstone dust, which other people have been, bring and other people have been bringing glowstone back from the nether for, for me, which is very helpful of them. Gunpowder, I believe, comes from killing creepers, and we had some of that. And redstone is just dug up out of the ground. So, yep, this was fairly straightforward. And then the molten lumium involved putting lots and lots of different things into um, into the into the big smeltery. So lots of molten, lots of silver, tin, and glowstone, and that all melted down into this molten lumium, which I was able to put into tanks or buckets or something, and then bring over here. And all this was then put together in my mages workshop over here, where you can see I've still got a little bit of molten lumium left in here. And every so often I need to go off and repair these books because 
uh, books and um, a, a knife things because they, they gradually wear down as you make stuff. This one wears down very, very quickly, so I'm going to need to repair that again fairly soon. But that wasn't too bad. That allowed me to then get the Aquamarine. From there, I can make the Astral Tome, which is a book all about astral sorcery. From there, I then had to make some constellation. I need yes, I need to then go out and find find a shrine somewhere. And conveniently, we'd already managed to find one of those in our sort of miscellaneous explorations in a in, in a in a previous stream. We'd just been sort of looking around the world. Oh, I fit a lag in the air as I tried to fly over with the slime thing. This is going to be difficult because the server seems to be a little bit laggy today. And when the server's laggy. Sometimes you lose all of your momentum when you're slime slinging, and that makes getting around a little bit more awkward than it normally is. So let's, but let's see how we get on. The because um, I do, I do think it's worth showing off the um, uh, like that. that. That's what I meant by losing all momentum. I do think it's worth showing off the um, the temple that we we found and what I basically what what happened over there. So there's this temple that we found, as I said. The whole thing's made out of marble, which is very pretty. But that's, that's not the important part. The important part is that down here, there is this um, floating crystal, which is completely indestructible, it turns out. Um, but that mean, but with, with astral sorcery, if you put down a crafting table close to one of these crystals, and I don't know how close it has to be, but this is apparently close enough, you can then do magical constructions in here. So that allowed me to make um, this resonating wand. As you can see here, it says, Place a crafting table near the crystal, collector crystal, craft a resonating wand. Um, so I've got that now. Um, and that allowed me to then um, use... I used this with my um, mage's workshop, I think, in order to make the next step. So from there, I then need to make... Oh, need to make marble, need to make dirty marble. Yes, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Then, oh yes, then I had to make the, um, the luminous crafting table. Yes, yeah, so you make this out of lots of marble, lots of dirty marble, and, and other sort of other stuff that I've been out, out there for, out there finding and generating. Um, and once you've made that, you can then use that. To, you can you put things into that, in or, and then use the wand that I'm holding at the moment in order to make the actual sp specific magical things you, you, themselves that you that you need for various other other stuff. Now I think a bit more marble would be quite useful for decorating the um, the area that I'm building over there for my for my new astral sorcery magic. So I'm going to gather a little bit of this while I'm over here. Actually, my um, my thwacker hammer has probably repaired itself a bit by now, so I can uh, demonstrate how this works. You can just hit, take out an entire massive chunk of stuff in one go like that. So it's a, it takes out a three by three centered on wherever you've started digging from, like that. And so you can, that that way you can gather stuff very very quickly. And when you combine that with the um, the magical wand of picking stuff up, it's really quite quick to gather large quantities of whatever. Um, Stones and earth, or stone stuff you want to you want to gather. Is that coal down there? Might be marble coal ore. Okay. However, the problem with the hammer is that it does get it does wear out. As you can see, it's down to there's 172 durability at the moment. Um, if I take out some of oh my inventory's full. Let's put some stuff in my backpack. Now a lot of this probably shouldn't go into the backpack because it's going to. Oh, the mining backpack's locked. That's why I'm not. not uh, that's why I'm having so much trouble. <clears throat> there we go. Mining backpack in normal mode now, so we can. So I can carry on with the mining, and all of this stuff will get picked up and automatically put into the mining backpack. I hope. There we go. And there's a lot of marble available here, um, so I'm going to get, gather a decent amount of it up, um, and then probably maybe hide it somewhere so it, uh, Mike doesn't use it all. No, I won't do that. That's mean. But I've got now I've got lots and lots of marble. Oh, marble cobblestone. That's interesting. I'm not sure why I was getting that. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get back over to the main base. And now that I've shown you this, and so I came back here and I built this small. Um, small plinth thing and um, and started, and started and to, to make everything look pretty and up on the top here I've got my luminous crafting table the next thing after that was to start building a light well and start collecting um, astro start collecting liquid starlight in this in this stone tank and that's going okay you, you make sort of you make a certain type of crystal you throw them in here and it generates starlight which is uh, neat and easy and so on now conveniently so these 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 tables they, they fill up with starlight and that base is based on sort of location in the world and height and conveniently the place where we just happen to build the tower is in a place where there's actually a lot of starlight available so we've got the bar is half full even though it's daytime uh, middle right in the middle of the day at the moment and even when and that's that that means and then we discovered at night time 
the table, the uh, the starlight bar fills up completely, and we've got so it's actually in more or less the perfect place to have this, which is quite impressive. I'm um, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, it, 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 it turns out that the ran more or less random place that we decided to build the tower, or Mike built the tower to be fair, um, turned out to be almost exactly the right place, and I'm going to I'm going to assume that was um, mostly luck because <laughs> I think it must have been. So yes, carried along around here, made the table, made some crystal ore, made, made the light well, collected some, uh, liquefied some items to make some, um, make some um, uh, li liquid starlight, and put some in a bucket. And so from there, I'm now, I now need to make a fossic resonator, and I don't really know what that is, what that is, but we'll find out in the next stream. So come along and join us for that. <laughs> I'm. I'm sure this is going to get interesting and useful fairly soon. I, don't, I just don't know what any of this is for. But Tristan has been asking me to, to uh, sort of concentrate on this particular quest line because apparently there's lots of exciting stuff later, uh, further on down it that's going to be very, very useful for us. So yes, that's what I've been doing. Um, let's see. Let's have a look around the uh, around the the, uh, the base and see what everyone else has been up to. So we have over here. Mike has been making a a monument to his ego over there in this sort of the um, the McMansion over in the corner down there. So that's um. It's not quite big enough to represent his ego yet, but I'm sure it'll grow over time. Tristan has been continuing to work on the storage system down there. That's um, now getting gradually marbled to make it pretty and, uh, and gaining more and more and more drawers. When, and he's keeping everything quite quite nice and tidy down there, so that's going that's going well. Al has finally actually put a, a roof on one of one of the buildings, so the um, the old smeltery building down there has now got a nice sort of roof on it, and it's designed in such a way that you can slime sling in and out without too much difficulty. So if you can manage to land on the dark or any part of the roof down there, you can then let's see if I can. I'm not very good at slime slinging really. Um, ooh, not too bad. If you land anywhere on the roof, you can then drop down to here and get inside through through the through the ceiling without too much difficulty. So it's designed for designed with slime slings in mind to an extent, although I think it might need a staircase up to take you to that um, balcony level for, for for when you want to leave the building. More interestingly, over here there is now an automated smelting system. So anytime anyone brings back any any ores from a mining trip, they can just chuck them in a in a drop chest over on the other side. They'll come over here. They'll automatically be sorted into ore types. So we've got things like um, copper and iron go into this one. Um, the more the slightly rarer ones go, uh, and they, these get dealt with in one way. Then the slightly rarer ones in here dealt to be dealt with in another way. And then the very rare ones in here, because these can be then be tripled. And it's different. It's different. The different ways of processing lead to different types of um, different types of byproducts. And I think it's these ones are common, so they get doubled, and you get a useful byproduct out. These ones have very useful by byproducts, so they get doubled, and you get the very useful byproduct out. <clears throat> these ones are rare, so you get the um, you get they get tripled, and you get an e uh, because you get even more. Then that way you get more of them. And over here we have choices between um, between pulverizing, or induction smelting, or um, induction smelting in a slightly different way with a different different um, by, uh, different um, a catalyst in there. But if you want more information on this, then I suggest you go off and watch Al's videos because he did quite a detailed explanation of how all this worked while they were building it. Um, I don't know what goes on in here. Oh, this is just where the, all the item ducts go. So. The, the way this system works is that these these ducts go all the way off to the storage area over there. So when you dump your ores into the chest, the ores are taken away, brought down the pipes, put into these into these drawers, dealt with, and then the, the metals are then fed back a lot, all the way along the uh, the item ducts over back over to the storage area, where they can be re then grabbed and reused by anyone who needs them. So we come over here. I went off on a mining trip, so I can come to this thing and I can go, um, actually I need to look in my mining backpack, which is this. So we'll say, okay, I want, oh, no, it didn't go in there, I must have put it in. There we go, there's the iron ore I dug up, so we'll take that out, we'll put that in here. And, as, and if you watch this, you'll see that this will start, yep, that starts to drop as the iron ore is automatically taken out of there by the, um, by the, uh, by the item carrying systems. And it'll disappear off down a duct somewhere, probably. I don't. I don't know exactly which one is it. Wh exactly where it goes, because these are all, all these are all underground to keep things neater. But I can now fly back over here, and after some time, and it takes it takes quite a long time for the stuff to travel over because the uh, the item ducts are quite slow. But eventually, the iron will appear here, and it will go through the smelting system, and then it will come back out as iron ingots, and that will be sent back over, all the way over there to be to be used for whatever projects we we uh, we need them for. And eventually we'll have a building around all of this as well, and it'll, be, it'll all be prettified. But that hasn't happened yet. It's sort of a it, it's a work in progress. But bring coming on to sort of um, buildings and construction and trying to make the world look slightly nicer. Mike has also been busy. He's been um, extending the the castle wall, the, sorry, the uh, the tower wall over this way. So it now goes, I believe, all the way to the coast. So he's been working, yep, working hard on that. 
Uh, does it go all the way to the coast? Pretty. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, I'd say, I'd say it actually does. And there's, we just need a diving board coming out here now so you can jump into the sea. Uh, so he's, he's been doing that. He's also built a windmill somewhere. Um, I think that's on the um, on the office block building. So yes, there we go. There's a wind windmill up there, and that's also, I believe, connected up to the um, the general electrical system. So that's generating more power for the uh, for the, for the uh, facility. And now that we've got all of these automated machines running that don't just burn coal, I think all I think having a lot of this is going to be very very useful. And I think that pretty much covers it. I'm not sure what Pete's done. He hasn't actually told. He hasn't actually updated the um, the thread on on Discord to tell us what he's been up to. Um, but I imagine it's probably involved more of the um, more of the uh, what do you call it over here? The plant plant the, the mystical agriculture. That's the thing. So the, these plants along here look new. There's some copper ones. I don't know what the. Let's go and find out. The blue one is electrotine and glowstone seeds. So we're uh, growing growing even more um, interesting, weird, interesting and weird plants over here that will allow us to make um, make make various types of metals and other other resources in in an infinite quantity, albeit albeit quite slowly. So yeah, that is th that is going. Otherwise, well, there's Mike's um, mansion, but he hasn't quite finished it yet. So we'll talk about that in the next video, I think. So. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, as ever, we'll be uh, back here on mon Monday evening, yeah, 7:30 p.m. UK time, uh, to carry on to carry on on stream and do do some more quests, and we'll see how that goes. I think the uh, the light magic is going to be my focus for a bit longer, so I'll carry on along here and see how things go. No doubt everyone else will be carrying on with various types of resource gathering and building, and who knows what. We'll we'll, we'll see what we'll see what turns up during the during the stream. Wednesday evenings are for uh, Factorio Space Exploration, so there'll be a, a stream of that where I'm going to be carrying on with deep, trying to get Deep Space Science 2 running a bit more, or just a bit more really. I'm going to need a lot more um, Naquium to get that running nicely. The weekend means more of these uh, these summary videos, both the um, the, fa the Minecraft ones on Saturdays and the uh, and the Factorio ones on Sundays. So those will be coming out as ever. And Thursdays will, as usual, be for um, GTA videos. And uh, there's a few more things that I'm, I'm going to try and get out on uh, other other times as well. But you know that relies on me actually having some free time to make the videos. So as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to come along for the um, for, uh, for all the streams and all the videos and so on. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.